we doing?
might blow your mind. So first up, write an email. So I'm going to see, select who you email on campus the most. And we're going to talk about what those emails should look like according to
Actually, is anyone still going? Great. <laughs> All right, so I lied. There is a right answer. And your priority should be in this order, and I'm going to tell you why, your progress towards your degree. So if there's a class that's only offered once or once a calendar year, and that one time happens to conflict with your classes or your practice, that coach is like really serious that you need to get to, you probably should still take that class. And like I'm not trying to throw your coaches under the bus or anything like that. We're turning you into a snitch. But if you are getting like a lot of backlash about trying to graduate on time, that's the stuff that we need to know because that's what you're here for. Even if you're going to keep going on and competing after this, you still should leave here with a degree, and we need to make sure that you do that in a timely manner so that you can stay on scholarship in the state's coverage. Next in priority should be your practice strength and conditioning schedule. Okay, so it is very important, but more important than anything, you need to get your classes in at the time that you're supposed to get them done. And then after that, your job schedule, because I know some of you work to be here. But I've gotten a lot of like feedback that you could have taken class at a certain time because it conflicted with your work schedule or you're not doing well in classes because you're like leaving to go to work. And most of you that do work, work to make your living and to pay the bills and your tuition here. But if you're working and it's causing you to miss class and fail class, then you're throwing away your money anyway. So that's why the priority is the way it is. So if, you pick, if you're not working and you pick up a job, keep that in mind while you're doing what you're doing. And then free time. So Kirby and I both were athletes in college and we can tell you firsthand the reality is that you really don't have any. So your free time is usually spent asleep, right? Or eating. So you really don't get to do that very often, just as is. So that's the name of the game. And the good news is that it passes once you get to college. So there you go. And then the last, oh, any questions about that? Great. The last, oh, sorry, Kirby. The, what is your familiarity with these different campus access points? Because we want to know how to best help you with every little thing. So you can kind of use your sliding scale as you see. And so by familiarity, like how well do you know your way around it? Do you get everything you need? Do you know what you need?
So engage. And then if you want to go to the nest, which we know the least about, that's actually just a virtual platform. It's still growing, and we want to kind of see how that works for people. And again, we can't fix it, make it better, and all that if we don't, if nobody's using it to tell us what's going on. So you get to that by clicking on organizations, and then you can type in the nest. And there it is. So virtual engagement. Like, I think they do trivia on here and different types of things for clubs that you might be in. So just a handy little resource for all your digital activities. And then this is the directory, directory.life.edu, okay? If you're looking for a professor and you ask me who they are and I give you a name, now you can go in here and look up that name. If you just met Sue today and you want to know who Sue is, boom, there she is. If you only caught the Last name of someone. I'm Walker. There I am. Okay? Same thing with students. You can track anybody down, get phone numbers, emails, all that, and you can access that from anywhere. It's actually really helpful. Okay? So, any questions from there? Great. So, I promise it would be short and sweet with those basic things. Uh, now we're gonna give you a quick overview of what else we have planned for you this year. For October, this is our October calendar, you can take a picture. We'll also link it to, um, we're starting a tab in our athletics page. You'll just see it on our Inside Athletics, so will more than each, more than the athlete drop down. And all kinds of resources that you need will be there. Everything from past presentations, as you can see we're recording, as well as information on what's coming up. Uh, one thing I want to highlight, you'll see uh, every day on Tuesdays from 8.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. Vincent Hinton will be in here. He technically works for Student Success Center, but he's also working as a counselor for us. So he's literally just in the conference room. If you walk into the main lobby and turn right, there's a conference room right before Jamie's office, R.A.B. Frosted windows, closed door, big walls, whatever you want to get off your chest or go through, Vincent's going to be there doing nothing else, just waiting on y'all every Tuesday, all year. We have our diversity and inclusion forum. We do that every month. Next week, or next this month is next week at 5.15. So they're all on Wednesdays right now because that seems to conflict with the least amount of trainings, but if people want to see it at a different time, again, we won't know unless you let us know. But we'd love to see some of you out there. It's student-driven as far as the conversation, so what matters to you is what we're going to talk about. And we'd love to see those numbers keep growing. So Team Trivia is also next Wednesday night within your teams. It'll be at 8 in the upper gym for spacing. And in the event that the upper gym is full, because I know the rest of the class are down and cheers up there as well, we might be back in CC1 because this is a really good like, place. We can do it virtually as well. So one of our sponsors is, is 1,000 Degrees Pizza. And you will be playing for food. Yay. And then the next part is our subtracts. So we'll have our keynote topics every month, and then we'll have subtracts for you to engage with the topic on a level that of things that are important to you. So the two subtracts we're offering this year is leadership and personal and professional development. So the leadership track is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to tie in whatever we're talking about to leadership when we have our follow-up. And then Sue's going to talk to you about what the personal professional development track is going to be about because it's also through career services. And the beauty of that is five, each session is going to be 30 minutes because again, I know your time is valuable and we want to keep you attentive and get you in and out. So I will be from 515 to 540, or 45 minutes, sorry. I'll be from 515 to 6. Sue so will be right there from 6 to 645. So if you want to do both, you'll be able to. And so Sue, so you want to go ahead and give them a quick overview. Yeah, I do. I do have my slides. I do. Okay, great. Uh, can you all hear me? Okay, yeah. great. These are, these are really great. Wonderful. So um, I um, have been here at Life University for 19 years, um, doing the career services role for about nine of those years. Um, I am really excited to see our undergraduate students' um, population expanding, and I'm really excited about just what you all and each of you individually brings to the campus. And I'm excited about working with you all. 
I'm going to kind of give you um, an overview of what working with you um, in this formal way will look like, and I'll give you some little tidbits on some of the other things that I do that I can work with you individually on for do some extra um, planning and extra programming, etc. And I just want to thank Elena for including me in this. I have been looking for a way to get um, in front of undergraduate students in a structured way where I can introduce to them some of the really helpful tools that I work with and just to get to know you too. So um, thank you, Elena, and I just thank you all for coming. I think it's going to be a really exciting year as we do some things. And if, um, these are just my starting points, and if there's anything that you want to do, um, just reach out to me. Um, sometimes I get a little backlog because I'm, I'm a part of one serving all of you guys at the College of Chiropractic, and um, it's a lot, but I really, my heart is with you guys, so well, the chiropractic students, but I do higher education because of undergraduate students. So um, what you see on the screen now is a tool called Focus 2. It's an online platform that we've subscribed to where a student can actually go in, build an account, and um, learn about different majors. And it's focused on majors that are here at Lake University. So when you complete it, you're gonna be answering questions about yourself, about your strengths, your weaknesses, your skills, um, your leisure activities that you adore, um, and that sort of thing. And then it'll come up in the profile and tell you a little bit about yourself and suggest a major. And then um, I can tell you from this meeting some students at New School of Human Orientation last week, um, like, what are you majoring in? Exercise science. What are you majoring in business? Do you know what you want to do with it? Yeah. Do you know what you want to do with it? No. So um, this actually helps you answer that question, and it helps you explore who you are and how you can interact with the world of work. So I'm going to encourage you um, during the October 21st um, track event, um, and I'm going to show you more about the system, show you how it works. Um, tonight in the back of the room before you leave, you can actually get some sign-up um, information on it, and that information is also on my Engage page. So um, it's something that you can get ahead of me on and actually start the, doing the platform in. It is web-based, but it's also um, um, an app-based kind of thing where you can actually get on it and learn on your phone too. So very fun for self-discovery for those of you who are psychology majors. You might even want to engage with it a little bit more because it really does kind of get inside the human mind as far as love and interests and engaging, like I said, with that world of work. So um, reality is that 60% of entering freshmen across the country, not here at Lake University, but across the country, literally have one of, fit into one of these categories where they have no career goals, they have no major decided, and they have no, or they have no plan. And that, that's a reality, and that is okay. Students change their major several times freshman year and graduation. It's a reality, and it's okay. Don't feel bad if you don't know what you want to do. I'm here to help with that. All the opportunities here at Light are going to help you learn more about yourself, and you can move on. Okay, so I've already talked a little bit about this. This is what Focus 2 addresses. It helps you identify your interests, your personality, your values, skills, lifestyle preferences, and it helps you explore occupations and major areas of study compatible with who you are. Okay, so this tells a little bit more about kind of the steps in this, and I will be getting into a lot more detail um, in that October 21st meeting. And it's the kind of thing that I'm going to cover then, but like I said, it's something that I can cover individually. I can shoot you in the link for you to get on it. You can take a piece of paper tonight that has the directions for getting onto it. It's the kind of thing that you can get onto and get off of. It's not like if you didn't complete this, you can't move on. Um, but I recommend that when you get on, complete as much as you can. If you don't have time, go back and complete some more because really just, it's a robust platform and it will really tell you a lot about yourself if you complete every single piece of it. You can't just complete your strengths piece. It's not that kind of a platform. You need the whole picture. Okay, and so this, um, is, you can actually make it available to them and that link here will actually take you to do the focus thing, two thing. I forgot that I included that and the access code is life. So since we subscribe to it here at Life University, the access code is life. And you just need to use your student at life.edu email to build that account and it will accept it. So you can even build an account um, with your life.edu account. So woo! Um, and then I can I can see um, your summary and the results that you get for discussing that with you, which is really fun. And then from there, it really does help you understand the world of work because you might be majoring something, but you might not know the myriad of things that you can do with that. 
and I want to help build programs as I start engaging with you more and more to help you explore the world of work. So that might be eventually, you know, possibly sometime this spring, we do something where we do a networking event, and if we're still virtual, we do a virtual networking event where we bring in um, people who are out in the professions that you might want to go into and get into chat rooms, or we might bring them to campus if you know they're able to come to campus, that sort of thing. So those are the kinds of things I want to help you engage and understand the world of work. Because getting a major and being three weeks from graduation and sitting there literally going, I don't know what I want to do with this major is not a good thing. You've got several years to go through that. How many of you are freshmen in the room? You, okay. How many are like sophomore level? And juniors? And seniors? Okay, you're the ones I'm talking to too. And I'm talking to all of you. And hopefully you have a plan for you seniors, especially this next slide is gonna be really relevant for you. Every year for the past um, nine years since I've been doing career services here at Life University, um, I have promoted this career fair. It's the GACE um, Annual Statewide Career Fair. It was supposed to happen in April. It didn't happen. Um, it completely had to shut down, of course, because we were a month away from it when it was going to happen. But typically at that career fair, we have 150 employers and graduate schools and students from colleges and universities from all around the state come to this career fair. We're the campus that's the co closest to the gap Galleria where it was held, so it's really disappointing that we can't do that. But GACE is an organization, it's career services professionals like myself, I'm going over my five minutes, <laughs> but um, career service professionals like myself, and it's employers recruiting professionals who work specifically to recruit college graduates. So reps are at these tables, students can stop by. If you're about to graduate, you're literally handing them your resume, getting to know them, learning about their opportunities. If you're looking for an internship, they're there kind of telling you about their internship. If you just want to go at some point and learn about what this company is or do some homework, you can do that. The great news is we got it together and this organization has um, per is providing a virtual career fair. It's a really cool platform. I was talking to the Marine Corps recruiter that um, I met here, um, the Gase, um, and Life Action has a relationship with her. When I told her what platform we're using, she was like, yay, I love that platform. So it's like, you, it's a really good platform for engaging with employers. So for those of you who are graduating soon and want to go to that career fair, I will help you get your resume in tip top shape for that. And we will get you um, connected with that career fair. And I will be doing some special events on the nest or just Zoom meetings that I set up so that you can learn about how to get into this career fair virtually. So I wanted to make sure you all know about it, and it really is, you, you folks who are at this freshman and sophomore level, you can participate in, in it too, just to learn about what's out there. If you have no employers, you can say, oh, I don't want to talk to you, because you might be a prospect a couple years down the line. And they're really there because they want to share um, their field of work and their opportunities. And so there's internship stuff too. And there's internship stuff too, yes. There's a lot of internship stuff, chip stuff especially in the business and the CIM realm, but there's a lot of social service agencies, a lot of other agencies that might interest you know, psychology graduates. There's some in like the healthcare and exercise science world, I'm hoping that that increases. Um, if you all, honestly, if you know an organization that you wanna work for for your major, tell me the name of that organization and I can do my homework and go find them and invite them to this career fair. It might not happen since it's so quick this year, next year because that's how these employers come they get invited by us career services folks so uh, this is just a reminder that i can help you um, with your resume um, and i do um, have some guides that i can hand out they are on my engage page um, that is specifically set up for cgus i have two engage pages one's for chiropractic and one's for our undergrad students and there's some, several resume examples on there and there's several other great articles and i've been uploading some linkedin articles I'm uploading some interviewing skills articles and lots of other things. So I want you to go on there and find those as well. Um, and now, the other thing that we're going to be focusing on in many areas here at Life Communities University is are you career ready? Right now, I'm failing at the communication piece because you're talking much too rapidly. But I'm just like going to keep your energy, the energy up and get you guys um, onto what you need to do next. But we're going to be focusing on these in work study jobs. If you have a work study job, eventually your supervisor is going to be working with you to take the focus to 
component that measures your career readiness when you're assessing yourself, and you're gonna say to your supervisor, I really need to work on my, my um, digital technology skills. I'd really like to sharpen those, or I really feel like I don't write good emails. I would like to get a little bit skilled in that. So that's the kind of thing that a supervisor can help you along with, and you identify what you want to do. But here in these sessions, as we go on, and we select what we're going to be presenting to you, we're gonna to try to focus on these types of things. These were identified by um, employers across the country who are members of NACE, which is the National Organization of Career Services Professionals, the National Association of Career Colleges and Employers, and they've identified the eight competencies that they look for in college graduates. So you wanna make sure that everything that you're doing in college helps you build these competencies, and there's so many places you can find them. And I would say that teamwork and collaboration piece, you guys are already ahead of the game on so many people with that, because employers actually do work with people who are student athletes, because they know they have learned how to work on a team together to accomplish a common goal. And then the one that, if you go to the next slide, um, bottom there, it's a global, I mean, you know, cultural fluency. So one of the events that we have coming up, I'm gonna be tying it into the theme of global and intercultural um, fluency, which the description of up there is not just, you know, the worldwide global thing, it was accepting people and working with people and knowing how to really engage with people who are not like yourself, necessarily. And so that is the piece of that. Um, the engaged thing, like I said, all of my tools, I'm constantly loading things, new things on there, I'm right now, like, events are not uploaded, I kind of go a little slow on the events, but there are tools and articles found in there as well. So that's what we're gonna be hitting on, and I would say if any of you as individuals or there's you know, a cohort of you that there's one thing that you kind of want to hone in, let us know, because that's the kind of thing that if, you know, if the work services world does it, something you really feel you need to know, we'll get on.
planners. There's need to know information in there. Bring the planners back. Show me that you've used them at Christmas time for our Christmas event, and we will get you a Christmas present. Okay, now you can go, but keep your distance. Keep your distance.